Now this is something you aren't going to want to miss. A green comet is passing through our solar system for the first time in 50,000 years. The elusive green comet. So we posted a story on KCNTV.com about this just last week. Thousands of you want to know more about it. So our newest reporter, 6 News reporter Sydney Deshawn, talked to an expert to answer your questions. She joins us now live in studio. Sydney, what can you tell us? Well, Chris and Lindsay, I spoke with David Leake today, who is a retired director of the Starkeel Planetarium in Illinois. He shared some tips on spotting the rock and why it is so rare. A green comet is making its way to Texas. It's called Comet ZTF, which stands for Zwicky Transient Facility. It's an automated telescope that found this thing. The comet was first discovered in March of last year. What makes this comet unique is its bright color. We might have several comets every year, but most of them don't get all that bright. And the fact that this one can maybe be seen with just the eye, probably better be seen with binoculars, that's, that's kind of what makes it exciting. People can watch the green comet from their own backyard, but it might be a late night. Go outside around 2 a.m. or so and look towards the northeast. Again, you may need binoculars. Um, I would, again, we don't know how bright this thing's going to get. What I would do is uh, in the northeast, there's a bright star. It's called Arcturus. It's kind of an orange star. And you want to look underneath it and to the left of that and just kind of scan along the horizon. If you don't want to miss it, make sure to mark those calendars on February 1st. It is interesting that, that we can actually observe the universe like this. A lot of the things, the stars, they change with the season and uh, the, um, the planets change their position in the sky, but they're pretty predictable. When something happens like this, it just lets us know that you know nature kind of does what it wants to and we're here for the ride. What an incredible sight to see. I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to have to buy some binoculars to check this out for myself. <laughs> I'm concerned about the 2 a.m. time of all of this, oh, though, yeah. because I'm usually fast asleep. Good for you. <laughs> That's what I'm winding down. Yeah, it's tough. But since it's going to be green, Andy made a great point. Is it going to be like kryptonite? Uh, flying by our planet? Let's hope not, but yes. it'll be pretty cool. And if any of you spot this on February 1st, make sure you send us your pictures so we can see it too. All right, great job, Cindy.